this morning on the deaths of Fast and Furious star Paul Walker and his friend killed in a fiery car accident. All right, welcome back to another video, everybody. So long story short, if you guys watched that last video, which you should be watching, and if you didn't watch, then go like, go subscribe, go comment, go do all that stuff. So when I posted that last video going around to different locations in Los Angeles, to different Fast and the Furious filming locations, me and my brother were talking afterwards. I told him that I've actually been to the crash site where Paul Walker um, crashed at and, and passed away because um, my cousin took me to it. So basically we were talking about how the location isn't too far from us in Los Angeles. So I wanted to take him to see where it actually happened at. So I've been here before, he hasn't. Sir, bittersweet. I'm about to show him the spot. I gotta say though, it, it is, it's really beautiful here. So I mean, when you die in like a tragic accident, yeah. you would at least, at the very least, hope that it happens in a beautiful spot like this. Cause I mean, yeah, like I said, you can see like mountains over there and stuff. So how did it exactly go down? Like, you know, you know. So better. basically they were coming around this bend right here. Who knows how fast, uh, yeah, in a Porsche, uh, I believe it was like a Carrera or a 918 or a Carrera GT or something like that. But so they were coming around uh, this angle and they actually crashed right here. They actually crashed and they hit. Um, there was a pole here that they took out. I believe there was one there and uh, this tree. There's a bunch of people riding like. Yeah. So if you can see people leave like little just pennies and stuff. Oh, check it out. Like, oh, it's, of course. Tuna no crush. This was not here the last time I came. See you in the next life. That's crazy. Paul Walker for life. Yeah, and that's I, so cool. Damn, dude. Even look at this tree right here. Anything that people can kind of like leave their marks on around here, they yeah, do just to kind of like. Oh, Bob's Market. <laughs> oh yeah, that's literally where we were just at in the last video. The, uh, oh, oh, Toretto's check Market. That out. It's a Porsche, right? There. I think that's a Porsche in the tree. Flower. Let's say no, that's a Supra. That's a su the new Supra though. That's, that's so Paul, cool, man. That's the one that he would have been driving. Okay, there's a GTR before. right there. There's a look. There's a Camaro right there. What is this one? This is uh, what is it? I can't tell. It's upside down. Did I don't know. The new Supra came out cool. before or after he died. The new Supra came out, uh, I believe, after he died. Darn, he would have loved that. If that Supra had come out when he was uh, still alive, I think he definitely would have had. Well, he for sure would have bought one, but I think he probably would have put on the same wrap as the old one. That would have been sick. I think. Dude, they would. They, the Toyota would have given them that for free, dude, for sure. Like, oh yeah, absolutely. They would have showed up to his door. He would have been the first one to own it. Beautiful yeah. view. So yeah, this is where it happened at. So from one of the cameras that caught the crash, I believe it was on this corner right here or this corner right here of the building. It might've been that one actually right there. I think that little dot right there is a camera. But yeah, it was basically shooting this direction to right here and where you see that smoke appear in the video is like, you know, right here. Cause yeah, the car was literally like right there. Being here, it's just kind of crazy for us because I don't know if I ever mentioned, but um, me and Uriel have another brother that actually passed away four, over four years ago. Um, I'm the youngest, he's the middle, and it was our oldest brother. He passed away in a motorcycle accident. So coming here just like hits a little bit different for us. Yeah, no, it's, it's crazy because the first time that we ever came here and grew a love for California was when the three of us came here. Our crazy cousin who's into cars and has all these nice cars took us yeah. up to this gorgeous mountain. Which she also has the Integra that Ja Rule drove in uh, the first Fast and the Furious. Yeah, I also had that one. It was actually the Type R. I crashed it, I'm all good though. The mountain he actually took us to, they did film uh, Tokyo Drift up there and uh, we will take you guys up there sometime. And those mountains would literally be right behind these mountains right here. And those are the mountains that pretty much started our love for California. It's great to be here because one way or another, this is where we all end up, you know? But yeah, it's cool that Vin Diesel and Tyrese and all them came to pay their respects. It's gonna stay with me forever. I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you for coming down here and, and, and showing that angel up in heaven how much you appreciated him. Yeah. Thank you. If you know, like that movie, all the all the actors that were in at least those first few movies, um, you know, like the main ones, Tyrese, uh, Vin Diesel, George, Donna Brewster, Paul Walker, um, all of them, they were like actual friends. Um, you know, I think like what didn't Vin Diesel? He like walked Paul Walker's yeah, daughter, daughter down the die aisle or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. that shit's crazy. They were but, all a really close family. Also, another thing to mention about um, now that I actually have mentioned what had happened to our brother four years ago um if you see me wearing this hat this was actually his hat um yeah. that's like one of half the reason why i put it on a lot because it just reminds me of him and secondly it's just a dope hat and he would probably like it if i was wearing it so um just yeah know that this hat that i wear was actually my brother's hat so i thought it'd be pretty cool since people leave little stuff here to remember paul walker i'm gonna leave this thing i painted like a few months ago with um one of my cousins back in chicago he was like what are you thinking about right now? And I was like, honestly, I'm just thinking about California. And he's like, well, paint California. And I'm like, all right. So I painted this, you know, just to pay my tribute to Paul Walker. So yeah. also I'm putting this here knowing that for sure someone will 
take this at some point or move it or it'll fly away or whatever. But uh, hopefully they're not the douchebag that moves it. I was trying to find something good to leave here. I quit smoking recently, so I, I thought I'd leave a pack of Swishers and a lighter, you know. Paul's in heaven now, Dang. so. Dang, all right, in case you're trying to light up in Yeah, heaven. in case Paul's trying to light up. You know, he's in heaven now, so, it, you know. There's two in there, so he could probably split one with our brother, actually. Hey, true. Oh, dude, that'd be so sick. Yeah. Hey, if Paul Walker and our brother were smoking together, they Bro. are. They are smoking Maybe. together. And my Maybe brother, our brother, was a great blunt roller. He really. He was. also was a huge fan of Paul Walker. I don't know if we mentioned that too. Yeah, um, he, he loved was. Fast and the Furious. So we all loved Fast and the Furious. And we the, all loved and, movies. And man. movies and California. So all right. So from that last spot, we decided to come to the grave site of Paul because it is actually uh, pretty close to our house. This is one heck of a place to be buried. Seriously, it's very hard to be sad here because it's gorgeous. It's. Wow. Basically, yeah. There this is. is where he's buried right here. They did choose a super beautiful place because honestly, I can't think of a better spot to be buried at than right here. This is uh, the Hollywood Hills. Obviously in videos, never does it justice, but it's a beautiful view. Honestly, this is the most beautiful cemetery. I think they're, if there's a more beautiful cemetery, let me know, but this is crazy. I'm like, I would want to be buried here. This is so beautiful. Oh, so also to give a point of reference of where we are, this antenna that's right up here, that is actually right where the Hollywood sign is, but it's on the other side of the mountain. So we're basically right behind the Hollywood sign. And this is what happens to be here. Paul Walker. Nipsey Hussle is actually buried very close by. He's somewhere around here, very close to Paul. Honestly, this looks like a dream. You know, as sad as it is, like I said, it's kind of hard to be sad here because it's so beautiful. And the weather is honestly perfect today. The Hollywood Hills looks so cool from this side because there's nothing really built on this side of the mountain. So it looks more like uh, Hawaii or something or like Jurassic Park, you know? Yeah. Because yeah, Jurassic it's Park was filmed in Hawaii. <gasps> Dude. Got to go to Hawaii next. Let me know if you want me to do a film location review on uh, Jurassic Park because, I mean, honestly, I've been wanting to go to Hawaii. And uh, I was literally looking up flights last night. So as we were walking around, obviously trying to be really quiet and respectful, but um, we were trying to find where Nipsey Hussle is buried because he is buried here. And uh, this nice guy over here, um, right here, just told us that uh, he actually is buried right here, but there's no uh, tombstone because he's just too famous. So this is where Nipsey is actually buried at. It's just so crazy to think. It's kind of actually surreal to like think about. He was a rolling 60s crazy. There's a blue rose here for him. So just subscribe if you want to see more videos. I'm sure this lady in the back too is going to subscribe. I mean, you don't want to not be like this lady. On a funnier, happier note, if there's one thing I've learned about the dead is that they don't want us to sit around and be sad about the fact that they're not here anymore. The other day, exactly. I went to uh, send my girlfriend's little brother our last video and he had changed his number. So basically some random girl named Holly got the video. It was just funny because she was a little confused at first and she ended up watching it. Saying it was funny. I guess she thought it was cool too. Hey, shout out Holly. And also shout out to uh, my sobrino in Mexico. Jordan, te quiero mucho y te extraño mucho. And we'll see you soon. Alright, gang gang. Damn, who knew? All the planes we flew.